Hello, today I'm here with a new first impression and it is the this palette from Colourpop. I like never know how to pronounce it. I won't say uh-huh honey but I sound stupid when I do that and I can't like uh-huh honey. Hardest palette name ever. So this is the yellow monochromatic palette and if you didn't know that I love yellow eyeshadow. Yellow, orange and red is my favorite and this is monochromatic yellow and first I was like this is like the most boring yellow palette ever but then I saw it in real life and I was like that looks good so it looks like this and I think I know what I want to do um, in this one it is a pressed glitter it is one in the orange you glad as well I think I maybe will try to press glitter I'm not completely sure what I want to do, but I have a really good thought, I hope. So I will just zoom you in and we get started with this monochromatic yellow look, but it's not going to be monochromatic this yellow. This first impression with Aha Honey from Colourpop. So, okay, I think I will start with Total Baggin, this one. Put it in my whole crease. And hopefully this is like more mustardy. I love me a good mustard shade. It's a little bit mustard. Mustard. It's pretty orange to be mustard. But if you look at my nail chart now, it looks like I've tricked the wrong monochromatic palette. I have pink nails. And yes, they are supposed to be different. It's supposed to be go from light pink to dark pink so whoosh. and if you have missed it I have been okay one more of my little side stories I am going to stop with them sometime um, maybe you've seen that I have been a part of a crazy collab a worldwide collab with a Paulina palette I <laughs> it came up yesterday when I'm filming this, I don't know when this is coming up, but I have watched like, I think I'm soon halfway through. <laughs> it is a lot of people and I, it feels so good to see so much love and it makes me so happy and I'm just so glad that I was able to be a part of that collab so so grateful and so happy and it was like the best idea ever so yeah i will leave the playlist up here i think i can do that i should do that should be able to do that okay so i think i am happy with something like this i have like no idea what i want to do i think i need to swatch a little okay i'm going to start with If you have seen Austin Powers, I'll behave. I loved Austin Powers when I was younger. Me and one of my friends, we watched Austin Powers all the time. And then we have a third friend that she hated Austin Powers. So we like watched it when she wasn't around. So, if you know this, yellow is a pretty hard shade to make, I think, or at least like do a bam in your face yellow, but this one is pretty good actually. It feels even. It was easy to apply and it doesn't... Some yellows, when you just put it on, they are super super strong. But then you try to blend them and like everything blends away. But this feels like it's staying on. I am always amazed about like indie brands and how good they can make shadows when the bigger brands can't, can't, can't. But Colourpop, they are also in like, this palette is $12 and this yellow, I don't know how good it will wear. But like this, 
I have tried so much worse. Okay, and I think I will take a bus kill at this one and put it out here. The only thing I am like missing from this palette is a black. And I know that a lot of others feel the same way. Because it is a aha honey. So like bees and stuff are also black, yellow and black, so I think they should have put a black in this because the contrast between black and yellow could be so freaking awesome. Okay, I think I like wanted some more, maybe not punch, but a little bit more depth, 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 depth. I have get told by people to learn Swedish is a very hard language to learn because we have some sounds that other countries doesn't have in their language like seven it's called sju and this sound is very unique to Sweden and it's hard for others to learn but like the, this depth is really hard we don't have that in Sweden. Okay, I think I like it though because I, I can build it up a little bit so it gets a little bit darker but I would love if it would have been a little. Just like a tad darker. But I like the color. It feels pretty boring and like brown in the palette but on the eye I like it. Okay and I think I also want to try the pressed glitter, this one, it's called Palazzo, ne Palosa, 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 Palazzo, Palosa, and I'm going to use a glitter glue from NYX and this brush, and then I'm going to dip this brush into the pressed glitter and press it on, because I don't want it to be like, I just want some glitter, I don't want too much, and a little disclaimer, this just going to fill it up here. This glitter isn't supposed to be on the eyes, but my eyes survived the orange you glad palette, so I hope they will survive the aha honey. But if I'm going blind when I had glitter, I at least got blind with dignity. So I just dip the brush tip in glitter glue and then just Stamp it out here and then I take some of the press glitter and stamp it here as well. Okay, maybe this glitter wasn't as opaque as I wanted it. Okay, I don't really know what my goal and planning was for this. Okay, so I think something like this. But I never know like with glitter it it feels like it's supposed to be everywhere and nowhere, but when I do it like this, I'm like, it's missing here and here and here, but I think I'm just going to go with this. So I will take away my fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and then I will come back and I think I know what I want to do. I don't want to take any more glitter because I don't want to go blind, but I think I will put something shimmery in my inner corners and try to get the glitter off my face. So I will fix everything, or my face, my, my base and my brows, and then I come back and we fix the under eyes together and something more fun in the inner corner. So base and brows are on, and now we're going to do the under eyes, and I want to keep it pretty cohesive. So I will tie, what is it with my mouth? I will take bus kill and a behave underneath my eyes. And these like monochromatic palettes always surprise me. I always think that they can't be so good. But they are. It's going to be so fun now when I have done this. I'm going to do a palette bingo with I have. I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, so it's 
world in my brush. I should have bought one more of these because I use them always and forever. <laughs> so I will go in with a Behave. The inner part. And it feels like it's sticking pretty good even though I have set my concealer. Uh, okay, and now I'm going to take Sunburst and put it in my inner corner and I will spray this because I don't want any fallout. I am like never afraid to get shimmer shades in my eye but I'm super afraid of having glitter in my eye but I think that shimmer shades isn't that good to get in your eye either but it's like yeah they are more eye safe but I don't think it's good okay so like this and I I want to drag this up a little bit maybe I should just stop so I think I am I don't know if I'm going to say satisfied or happy. So I'm going to put something in my wash line, put on mascara and something on my lips. And I don't know what, maybe bright red or... I don't want to take it orange and I only have one yellow that is not good. So I think maybe bright red or dark red. Or bright red. I will see. I will try to figure out what I want and put on mascara and then I come back with the finished look. So this is the finished look for my lips. <laughs> Duke Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood. If you're new here and don't know this, I love this shade. This is one of my absolute favorite shades. And on top I used, I never know the name, Shine Lip Liquid in Lemon Sherbet from Color Body Shop. The Body Shop. I really don't like this shiny lip, but I have this, so maybe I should use it. And for my watch line, I used Punch from Colourpop. I have never used this before, I think, and I don't know why. So, yeah, that is the finished look with the Uh Huh Honey from Colourpop. I have used Sunburst, this shimmer, Palosa, this loose glitter, pressed glitter. Can never do this right. Totally Baggin, Oh Behave, and Bus Kill. So I used five of nine shades. So that is good. And I like this. I wish there was a black or maybe just a darker, darker brownish. I like this color, but I wish it was something darker because I think dark brown really dark brown or black goes so good with yellow i like this yellow and i really 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 like this sunburst it doesn't look so fun in the pan but on the eyes it is like lemony maybe it is because it's a little bit over the yellow but mm -mm. i really like how this turned out the glitter maybe i'm not so fond of I want to use glitter more, but I, I don't know how to handle it, but I am happy with this look and I really hope you like this and I will do a palette bingo with all of the five monochromatics palettes I have from Colourpop that's coming up and do you want to see anything more with this or maybe one of the other monochromatic palettes, please let me know. I have Orange You Glad, Just My Luck, Ooh La La. And blue moon I will try to leave all the videos I have about this monochromatics if you want to check it out more and that was all for this video I really hope you liked it and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one bye